Okay, chat. We got the we got the tier list, and we're gonna be tier listing what is the best and what is the worst of the uh the thingies. Let's start off by talking about who Bruce Lee is and the history, just like briefly. He was alive from uh so 1940 to 1973. He's a Hong Kong American martial artist and actor whose career spanned Hong Kong and the United States. He was the founder of Jeet Kune Do. I, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. A hybrid martial arts uh, and philosophy drawing from different combat disciplines that is sometimes credited with paving the way for modern mixed martial art. Lee is considered by some commentators and martial artists to be the most influential martial artist of all time and a pop culture icon of the 20th century who bridged the gap between East and West. He is credited with promoting Hong Kong action cinema and helping to change the way Chinese people were represented in American films. So he is also, from what I understand, he is very, very like influential with just like bringing popularity to uh, like the West with martial arts. I also believe that in general, um, the Bruce Lee Foundation does not work with that many different uh, companies and and entities. So allowing the Bruce Lee Foundation directly worked with Naraka in creating this series. So I think it's really, really cool and incredible. So uh, there's just a little brief history for you guys. The first outfit we're going to start out with is the quintessential yellow outfit. This is a hard one to start out with because I have mixed feelings about it. Okay, chat. Number one, I think it's kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's incredibly iconic to Bruce Lee. So, like, it, it's, like, top tier because, like, I think most people who are avid, like, Bruce Lee enjoyers, like like n know this outfit right mm. i don't know chat it's very bruce lee though maybe maybe it's not perfect so a tier but almost iconic okay i'm gonna give it a tier it would be b tier but it's very iconic uh, uh pro like points for the back and the shoes and it's unique in the game so i say a tier Okay, so then we have Dragon Shadow, Tiger's Fury. I personally think it's one of the best timing outfits, especially when it came out at the time. It was way better than the existing ones. Personally, it's clean. It's, it's, it's like, it stands out to me. I would say that this one as well is A tier. But I don't know. Then that makes me feel like yellow should be B tier. So next, let's check out uh, Tarka's outfit, which is uh, Chin Wu Soul. It's very clean. We have the beautiful... Uh, this is also an iconic outfit, isn't it? The jacket? I think it is. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's really clean. I like the little swooshy uh, hip thing. And it, it's clean. The socks and the shoes are very traditional. I think it's cool, but... Um, I don't know how much of a fan I am of it. I like it. But it's not my favorite. I say... Ooh, B tier. What do you think? This one's S tier for you! It's S tier for me too. What? That's one of my favorite outfits in the game. One of your favorite outfits in the game? C tier. I feel like this would be C tier for me or D. Actually, honestly, are we, are we talking about iconism, like iconicness? For for Bruce Lee, or are we talking about like how good the outfits are? I'm going outfit wise. Okay, nothing to do with Bruce Lee. It's D completely up to you how you want to rank it. If you want to add in like, okay, anything. my opinion of it. Uh, okay, uh, there. That's my opinion of it. Then right there. Um, next we have uh. Uh, Dragon's Way. The, at the time when this released, this was one of the best Yushan outfits as well. I love the, the extra points for the shiny tattoos, the interesting shoes, and the back piece. Definitely looks different than the other outfits. And the, 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 like, the gauntlets are just to die for to me. Uh, A tier. Oh, gosh. I might have to scoot these around. I might have to scoot these around as we go. Okay. Next, uh, we have Dragon's Will Awareness. The skin for Viper, it, it to the 
to this day, this is a great skin, even before it's like new um, Star Collection version came out. 100% uh, S tier in my book. I love it. It's great. Oh, well, yeah. Or do we sit and then. God. But, but, but. Well, what is, 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 is the, the Star Collection one better? Hold on, chat. Where is the picture of it? This one. Ooh. I don't know. Chat, now I'm like, ah! I feel, I feel so like, ugh. I mean, I, I don't know. I think the black is great by itself though, but Star Collection is 100% S tier. It's so cool. Okay, A tier for that. A tier. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, next one is uh, Matari Truth. This outfit has the potential to be an S tier, but Karate pointed something out on this and I can't unsee it now. Um, so you see the bunching of the dress right here. Um, the bunching is opposite on the back. It doesn't, like it should, the bunching should go to the same side and it doesn't. And also, I feel like the brown is kind of classy, but the it doesn't come together. It just looks like really thin cloth. I don't see why the undergarments aren't a different color and why it's ripped in the and and the I don't. It's oh, it's just not that good. I don't know why it's not mirrored and it's just the same on the back and bunched the wrong direction. And the brown is just it's just okay i'm not a fan a fan of brown i think that this should have just been left alone and this one get the star collection because this would be amazing in different colors honestly uh so this one to me d tier it, it's the reason i don't own it next one is kurumi and at first glance to me this one was s tier i really liked it i thought it was unique uh, very Bruce Lee, but also super cute. I like the yellow, different in the game. Uh, the material in the satin, the emblems on the gloves. But then Karate mentioned something to me. And, and now I can never look at this outfit the same. The pantaloons. The pantaloons. They even have a hole in them. But like the pantaloons are so ugly. Like look at like the beautiful like bottom of this outfit. The, bu the, bo the booty. But then you just see these puffy like panties and i i literally can't get over the puffy pants and like the it just ruins it just ruins it also the red feels really random i don't see why this giant knot here wasn't red as well or the red wasn't brought out more um so to me because of because of this uh and it being ruined for me i'm going to uh make this uh b tier i still like it i think it's unique in the game but it's just it's just okay next up we have valdas which is like oh my god i love it i love it i think this one was also was specifically one that had to be censored dude i didn't even notice this before it looks like it's glowing purple on the bottom the pants are so cool the tattoo it, oh it's see-through uh dude the 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 boots are beautiful very still like piratey the tattoo uh, like or the stitching on the pants all the little medallions it still screams bruce lee and valda the the censorship on the booba made it even more pretty with the flowers and all the bedazzles and the neck and the halter top it is gorgeous to me this is one of the best outfits for valda in the game this one is s tier the Marshall Infinity Collection we move on into, which is the different uh, schools of martial art, which was a really cool crossover for Naraka. And I think that they're really, really cool. I personally got to review these before they were released and I was really excited and I just feel really honored. So I think I'm a little biased on these, but uh, we'll start out with Tessa's outfit, which I just think is so freaking cool. I think it's really pretty. I love that it still looks like a traditional dress at the top, but we have all of these, like it's like a lily. It looks like either flower petals or like more tails because she has tails. And then the back tattoo is really cool. I also like the asymmetry with the shoes and the little anklet piece, but I deduct points. Because the outfit is so incredibly flat and lifeless. I feel like it's so flat and stiff, even at the tips of it. I don't know how you would fix it, but it just feels way too flat. 
um, and compared to other outfits in the game. So to me, I think this one is going to go B tier. I think like it's pretty. I like the color scheme. I like all of that. I like how it goes, but it feels weird being that color for Tessa. And it also just, it's just okay. It's just okay. It's great. I, I bought it, but uh, it's it's it could be better. It could be better. Like this is the thing. Is like look at that one. Then look at this one. Like one is notably better than the other. This one is freaking gorgeous. The hair that came with it was cute too. But look at look at the sleeves. They're so unique. Uh, the patterns. The bow with the bell. The beautiful pattern. The like little bits of the hips that show through the skirt is really pretty. Um, the shoes with the little bells and stuff, and the tattoo coming up along it. Everything about this outfit is really gorgeous. It has really nice shape. It's really flattering, and it's really unique in the game. And I. I love its animations and stuff so i i feel like this one to me is this one ha is s tier as well yo captain for the next one we have Wu chen's outfit Ooh, ah. i feel like this is incredibly beautiful it reminds me of the the Fuchun Mountains uh, art, which I adored that crossover. I thought it was so pretty. I think the outfit is honestly incredibly gorgeous. I love the color. I love that it's also asymmetrical, like the little blips and blops, the glow. It's super pretty. It looks very professional. Um, the pants are really nice and do have really great shape to them. But again, there's just something missing. I, can't, I, I know that this is how like this outfit would normally fit and everything it would be like flat to the chest and everything but it just feels like really beautiful around the center and the bottom but like the upper bit is just kind of I don't I don't know what I would do to fix it or change it, it has the headband too but uh I think that that it's just again like not as interesting so I, I think it's still a tier for me I think it's great. It's a great Wu Chen outfit, but I it can't it can't break to S tier because I don't know. It's it, it it's close but no cigar, you know. So here we have Zai's. This is incredibly interesting. I think this outfit is really unique. The sheerness on the booba with the bra is really pretty. You can see her belly button. <laughs> I think the animation is absolutely gorgeous. I think the pants underneath it is cool. The back is so cool the water drop on the back is beautiful uh i think it's so pretty i love the the like the tights are so cool and the shoes are really cool i wish there was something more going on with the bottom half i love the colors uh but i think the top is kind of odd uh where it hits the neck because of it being half and half it just is i don't know and then it's kind of flat like the piece that goes ac across the boob it's just like cut across like the shape up here is kind of odd to me so I feel like this could so be an S tier. I think the pattern is S tier. I think the the idea of it. But again, I feel like I can't give it S tier because it's just, it's not shapely enough. Like it's very flat. So it's like so close, but like just, I can't give it S tier. You know, S tier is special. And then last but not least is, whoop, how did I do that? Um, <laughs> Is the one that you can get for Monk, which is in the battle pass this one i'm gonna be honest i got to review these outfits ahead of time this was my least favorite only because just in like seeing the sketches of it i was like i just feel like it's gonna be too flat it's gonna like something about it's gonna be uninteresting it won't be interesting enough and i feel like it won't honestly seeing it now in game it's so pretty I think it's gorgeous. I'm not a big fan of orange, but I think like overall this outfit is gorgeous. I love the beads. I love the splash of color. I love the like Fuchun Mountain style like base, like bottom. I love the the ties. I love the gauntlets. I love the the hovering tattoos and animation is just gorgeous. The sparkles and just everything about it. And the shape is still beautiful because like you have these folds in the it's so nice i think the execution is great and so like personally s tier all right and then last but not least we have the weapons let's start with this one because we just did that outfit this staff oh it's so nice the color scheme is nice it's like basic but it the way it glows and it's just really pretty i really like this i think that like this staff is classy and 
really represents like what I think a really cool staff would look like. I think that I can't help but want to give this an S tier as well. Uh, it's, a, it's great. I really like it. I think it goes well with the outfit. I think it's really pretty. S tier. The spear. Mm. I really like the edge on everything, the way it kind of feels like it's... I don't know, like the middle, like the glowing parts are kind of coming out of the original metal. I think it's really pretty. But it doesn't, to me, it feels more like a staff than a spear, even though it has a point. I don't know. What do you think, Karate? I don't care for it that much, but it's, it's just because I'd, I'd use so many other spear skins over it. It just doesn't really feel like a spear. It feels more like a staff to me. I don't know why. I feel like the staffs are known for being really flat and unshapely, but like the spear tends to have a lot more shape to it. I just feel like it's kind of like it's really it is kind pretty. of it's kind of plain it's kind of like, like I think it it's the... gorgeous but I think that it's too skinny and it it's really hard to tell that it's a spear so like as a spear skin as a staff skin it'd be great but I just feel like as a spear skin it's just okay I'm gonna say this B tier it's just okay it's not bad it's not good it's just whatever okay next we have the dual halberds right dual blades Oh, they're dual blades. Okay, these are so weird to me. Because there's nothing about these that screams the martial art, like, thing, like, event. You know what I mean? Like, they seem more piratey than any... And this is supposed to go with Faria, right? Yeah. I think as a blade by itself, they're great. I think it's by far one of the best dual blades we have. I think most of our dual blades are, are pretty ugly compared to, like, the halberds. And it kind of makes me sad. I'm like super sad because if I had these, I'd be using them. These are my favorite dual blades pretty much. But I feel like for this event, they kind of stick out as a sore thumb. Like I can't, I wouldn't be able to tell it was part of the Marshall like series. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. These two items really match their character, you know, but th those ones are just like whatever. I think it's a great skin. It's my favorite dual skin but again i'm gonna give it b tier i'm gonna knock it down a couple points because i think that it's it, it just doesn't match the aesthetic i don't know maybe i'm i'll give it a tier <laughs> i don't know they're great skins it's just i it doesn't like i think it's a great skin but it knock it down from s tier because it just doesn't feel like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with that i'm gonna stick with that i think i feel i feel confident about that what's the next one the fan Okay, so this one is a Marshall Infinity fan. I think overall the skin is S tier. It's great. I think the skin is incredible. It's beautiful. And I think it totally matches Wu Chen to a T with the yin and yang. But I'm also just going to give this an A tier because this is for the Marshall event. And again, I feel like when I think of like Tai Chi and if a Tai Chi user was using a fan, I kind of wish it was a traditional fan. Like something about it was not just like this feels very um, video game. Like this wouldn't be a real fan. You know what I mean? It's very m mythical, you know, where we're focusing on like realistic, actual real martial arts bringing into the game. And so I'm going to knock that one down a peg because I feel like it's not S tier because I wish it was like a real fan, but that's just me. Overall as a fan skin, S tier, but like same with this one, I, I feel that way. I know I'm being picky, but whatever. This is my tier list, you share yours. Okay, what's the next one? The dual halberds, these, these hooks. These to me look like a like ancient Chinese weapon with the jade, the white jade with the green like inlays, like it feels very pretty. As it's not my favorite dual halberd skin by any means, but I feel like the movements and the theme of this, it does still match the, the yellow outfit. But I think that this matches like the heart and soul of like the martial arts, like with the natural wood and like the different things. Like it, it, it really brings in like the flow of that and represents like more of a unique thing. Like it stands out to me. I'm gonna give it S tier because it's very unique and it's it's an interesting weapon. I think it matches like the the Tessa outfit better than some of the other one. I I don't know. I I just uh, I don't know. There's so, I just think that it feels very like martial arts and 
unique and feels like the essence of it more than some of the other ones. Okay, last but not least is the iconic Bruce Lee nunchucks with Bruce Lee's signature on them. And they are just like the chucks that he used inside of his movies. They're basic, but they're a nunchuck. They're, they have his beautiful glowing name and everything. And they really do bring in the, the, uh, the essence of everything Bruce Lee. I think that the chucks are like the perfect martial art crossover because it's not like putting an outfit on one of your characters and hoping it looks good as Bruce Lee. It's literally the essence of the kind of martial arts that he was. And so S tier. Did uh did you guys post any of your guys' tier lists? All right, let's see. Who is this? This is Narvaez. S tier, S tier, S tier. Okay. Good. Uh-huh. Indifferent on all of those. No toots or farts for you. <laughs> Karar over here. Okay, we've got S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, B tier. Uh-huh. 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 Similar. Okay, B. Wait, A tier. That was A tier. B tier for the 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 Val the one. What? S tier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't. None of you have put anything that I'm like. Ugh. I mean, I don't like this Tarka, but I see why other people like the Tarka, so it's fair. Okay, you know what I'm seeing across this? Nobody loves the the Matari outfit. That the, dude, the Matari outfit is the the biggest letdown. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful, but I just think that they're the the wrong bunching of the fabric. It's a bit cheapy. The the texture's great. They should have made it the star collection. They should have made it the star collection and let us change the colors. There is my tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and for watching over on YouTube. Uh, make sure you guys go over to my Twitch to be able to see these live as well. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment down below. Please share in my Discord uh, what your tier list look like. It will link in the, the description if you guys would like to make your own tier list. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!